Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alright, so here is a man with one of the better welterweight resumes the sport has ever seen. The former champion Tyron Woodley held the belt for several years and now the focus is on getting back to the top of the heat. And he's one of those guys that has that ability to go and do that. Because one performance can be so impressive yeah. that everybody starts screaming, give this guy a title shot. The way that he flatlined Josh Koscheck. The way that he knocked out Jay Heron, but then he went and submitted there until you see Tyron Woodley, even as a champion, continuing to evolve, and it will only take one big night for him to get right back where he wants to be. He has dealt with a lot of interesting stylistic challenges, had the two-fight series with Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, one of the tougher matchups for him in this division. Woodley is back here tonight and looking to put on a show on the greatest proving ground in the sport. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. But I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the take for this heavyweight fight. Woodley is seven years his senior. He is two inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, we send it Ladies inside the octagon this is to the veteran voice, the Bruce Buffer. Event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Tyron, the chosen one, Wadley. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready fight. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. What a punch. Flip well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big leg kick lands. Again. 
Back into this position. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Big punch land. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he is. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with this opportunity? Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. a violent tap there, so he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. Tyron, the chosen one, would Alright, so there he is. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Tonight, you told me off the air before the fight.